Pakistani officials have been publicly denouncing the U.S. drone program for a while now. Publicly. But the Washington Post's Greg Miller and Bob Woodward got a hold of CIA documents and Pakistani diplomatic memos that suggest, privately, the Pakistani government was in agreement with the program. According to the Pakistani government's own figures, some 700 innocent civilians were killed in CIA-led drone strikes in Pakistan in 2009. That Pakistan's government has not only been aware of, but also tacitly approved the U.S. program of targeted killing is something analysts have suspected for a while now. In fact, as far back as 2010, the BBC reported on documents released by WikiLeaks that suggested arms of the Pakistani government quietly acquiesced to drone strikes despite their public protests. But fast forward to today, in contrast, the Washington Post's reporting of an explicit secret agreement and evidence of a direct role in picking the targets of the strikes to public comments like this from Pakistani government officials. Here's Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif on Wednesday. I also brought up the issue of drones in our meeting emphasizing the need for an end to such strikes. According to the Post's reporting, CIA documents detailing strikes included maps and before and after aerial pictures of targeted compounds. And the report suggests those documents were prepared specifically for presentation to the Pakistani government. Some CIA documents even explicitly reference strikes, quote, at the request of your government, in reference to the Pakistani government. Still, all that doesn't necessarily mean friction between the two governments over the program wasn't at least at times genuine, and the U.S. drone program remains controversial in many other corners, including Amnesty International, which earlier this week suggested some strikes could constitute war crimes. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman.